Okay, experiencing severe frustration right now. Just took my test number two for chemistry. And typically at the end of your test, it gives you like your score. And this time it didn't. So she already, the professor already sent out an email saying, this is how you view your thing. And I'm like, wait a minute, I did all of those things. I don't see my, my grade. So now I'm like, Phew. there's three tests for the class and she drops one. So I already got an A on the first test. And if I get an A on this test, then I'm kind of like smooth sailing for the rest of the semester. So freaking out. So after reading the email closely, it looks like there is a glitch in the system, but she also said that the grades will be up tomorrow once the test closes for everybody. So that means I'll be staying up till midnight so I can see my grade. Okay. I'm gonna check before I go home to see if my chemistry results are here. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's still not there. Hey fam, so I'm getting ready for lab class at 1.30 and I wanted to show you a few items I have um, gotten to assist me with my journey. One would be this light here. Oh man, it's plugged in. Okay, so I got this light here and it'll help me when I'm in dark places to just whoo, light things up. Let's see, because I don't really need lighting here, but... You can see how it brightens things up a bit. So that's no light. Bright light. Holla. Anyways, so I got a light and then I also got a folio. So what I was really looking for was a clipboard. So what I was really looking for was a clipboard. Let me put this up here. I was really looking for a clipboard and then I saw all these other suggestions on Amazon and I was like, wait, I want the works. <laughs> so obviously it's a clipboard. It has um, a little elastic thing for the pen on the side and then it opens up and you get usefulness. So it has a pocket, so I have things here, and then it has a notepad, and you can always refill the notepad later. So if I lift up all of these, you see that? You just get a regular legal notepad and you just put it in there. So I thought this would be very useful so I can stop carrying around my huge, huge binder and just start carrying this with everything I need for that day. Yeah, because I've been carrying around a three inch um, I've been carrying around a three inch binder, you know, these whole like two or three weeks. <laughs>
so I am getting ready for my human growth and development midterm it's uh, proctored so there's no notes there's no book there's no nothing so this is the study guide I created so they gave us a base which was like everything that you see typed is the base not everything the main bullet is the base and then like all the definitions and everything else that I put in there is what makes up the study guide everything that's highlighted was in the course materials and then like anything written in is extra information that I felt would help me to understand the principles that were in the study guide so it's five chapters this is chapter one was two pages so I have this and I have this and then when it was helpful to have a chart I cut and paste it into the study guide so for instance this first chart are all of it's the top um, behavioral like theories for um, human for uh, human development it's psychodynamic, behavioral, cognitive, humanistic, contextual, contextual, and evolutionary. So you see that I have them highlighted here with a basic definition, but here it also gives like examples and which um, person, which theorist contributed to each of those. So I have it broken down here. I'll tell you, chapter one had so much writing for me to do. Um, this is gonna prepare me for the next time I do a study guide. I'll know what to include typed already so I don't have to write as much on the study guide. But I put like a lot of things that would help me. I actually went back to the book a lot to help me like break down and understand who belonged to which theory and how it applied. Chapter two was great, not that much. This is stuff you learn like in school, like elementary, middle, high. So this, you know, wasn't too much to commit to memory. Chapter three was infancy. That's birth to three years old. You see I have this here. Um, uh, this is for Piaget's um, theory of sensory motor. It has uh, six substages. So these are the substages here. And then everything you see. And then chapter four, early childhood, three to six years old. And then chapter five had two pages because it, it it's not that it was um, so long, but the definitions were long. So, and that's the other side. So you can see I have charts, I have a lot of writing, and I used all of my resources. I used the midterm study guide that my professor provided. I used my book, I used their notes for the class. Um, and that's how I created my study guide. You also will see footage of me putting a lot of this information onto my makeshift whiteboard. And that is my biggest focus on that whiteboard was to put the theorists with their theories in the different stages. So for the midterm, I only needed the infancy, the early childhood, and the middle childhood, which covers from birth to 12 years old. So, um... Yeah, that board was just big enough for me to put all of the theories with the theorists for each group, plus a lot of supporting information. Um, yeah, I highly recommend getting a whiteboard. It's great for like, it also tells you what you know, um, because I did have to look at my study guide while I was putting things up there. But a lot of things I, I felt like as I was writing, like I already knew it, you know, I was looking to make sure I was writing the right thing onto my board but I really felt like I already knew the things that I was writing so it, it writing on the board gave me confidence um, yeah I, I really feel ready for this midterm I think that this is a class it, it's supposed to be easy it, it's you know DEP 2000 um, for other people it's like a 200 level class like it's something you might take in your freshman or sophomore year of college so I don't expect to be able to have to memorize every single thing down to its 50th substage but I feel like I have a general a, a good idea of the general concepts for each um, theorist 
that I understand each of their theories. I understand how they apply them to behavior. Um, so I am ready to take this midterm tomorrow. My appointment is for 3.30 p.m. So right now I'm, I'm getting my computer started so that I can go through this again and just make sure that there's nothing else that I have to break down and understand. And then I'm gonna use, I'm gonna test the software on my computer to make sure that when I start, uh, I don't have any technology issues for tomorrow. And then I'm just gonna spend the next, right now it's 9.44, I'm gonna spend like maybe the next 30 minutes, hour, hour and a half, just going through this a couple of times, making sure I get it. I Repetition is how I learn, so I'm just gonna keep going through till I feel more and more comfortable. All right, so grocery haul, did Walmart grocery pickup. I got myself some flour, all purpose, some sugar, some sparkling water and cherry limeade. You're also gonna see some other flavors later on. Sour cream, cause who don't want sour cream? Butter, baby. Lots of butter. Cheese for sandwiches. We love provolone around here. Mozzarella for literally everything else. More butter, baby. Hubby loves cheese. So we buy him blocks of mild cheddar or Munster. Then we have that blue cheese for salads and for steak. Hot dog buns for the hot dogs you're going to see later. These quick oats are from my mom. She requested that. Bleach, because uh, who doesn't need bleach? The great value version of Honey Nut Cheerios. Frosted Flakes, baby. The bag. Potatoes from my mom. She requested that. I love cereal. I can eat cereal all day. Peanut butter is from my mom. Ground beef is for us. I don't, I th I'm thinking of making uh, cheeseburgers. Honey mustard, because I want sandwiches this week. Those are the hot dogs I, I spoke about. Butter bread. That's my favorite bread for sandwiches. Butter, baby. Bagels. I ordered the great value, but I guess they didn't have them, so they substituted the Thomas bagels. The chocolate mix is from my mom. Fudge cookies are for me. I actually got two packs of those. Yellow rice, because yellow rice is delicious. Those are maduros. Those are plantain. Frozen from my mom. And also frozen biscuits from mama. And this is my Walmart grocery haul. And these are the sodas that I was talking about. We got peach and we got strawberry. We love sparkling, flavored sparkling water around here. So in this clip, I am preparing my room to take my proctored test. My school paid all of the fees for us to be able to use Proctor U to take our midterms. So I'm starting with making my bed. I'll be honest, we do not make our bed every day. We're too doggone busy. So this felt a little bit foreign to me. Um, so I kind of smoothed out the bottom sheet and now I'm smoothing out the flat sheet, getting the pillows there. And then following that, you'll see me put the comforter onto the bed very haphazardly, but enough to make it decent enough to show the proctor. You literally have to show the proctor the entire room. Now I'm just sitting down to my desk trying to organize exactly what I'm going to put in my drawer and what I'm going to put onto my husband's desk and what I'm gonna put to the immediate right of where I'm going to be sitting for my test. So now you're gonna see me put these papers into my drawer and I have pens there, like all the erasers and stuff, I put them into the cup that's, um, that you can see in the background there. Now I'm unplugging my desk lamp so that I could bring it over to my husband's desk. And everything you see from this point forward is gonna be removing items from my desk so that it can be free and clear. For Proctor U, you cannot have anything above or below your desk. So you'll see like all those perfumes are coming. Now my Bible and like a folder with some papers, that's going. And I believe there was also toner that I just brought. Hey hubby. Hey. 
now I have some stuff. Um, I, I think in the back there you see that black bar. That's kind of like the laptop stand. Or I don't know what it is to be honest. But it, I was removing items from there. Now you see my top and my bottom is clear. And I did a good job because my proctor allowed me to take the test. We ready y'all. Hey y'all. Good morning. It's Sunday, a beautiful day. I am sitting outside of church right now. Church starts at 10.30, so I have about 10 minutes before I need to go in. Uh, I'm going to listen to the Word of God, and then I'm going to go home, and I'm going to finish my lab report. I have about one or two questions uh, to do, and then I'm going to look, look over it, make sure everything looks good, and then I'm going to submit it. And she's pretty good about grading, so I'll probably have a grade before the end of the night. Um, I'm doing really well in my chemistry lab class. I have received anywhere between 34 and 35 points for each report, and that, of course, averages out to an A. Um, I took my human growth and development midterm yesterday. It was proctored. I felt really good about it. Um, I was only concerned about a few questions. I ended up getting about an 86% on it, so that's a B. Um, all of my other work in the course has been an A. So I'm looking forward to uh, my final grade in the course being an A. Um, my chemistry class, the last test I did, I got an A. So that bodes really well for me. It's a total of three tests and one of them gets dropped. So I got an A on the first, an A on the second. And no matter what the grade is on the third, it'll be dropped. And then um, there's four quizzes and one gets dropped. So um, the first two quizzes, I got A's on them. So... I take the next quiz, I think, this upcoming week, and I'm gunning for an A on it. And as long as I get an A, I, I will end up with an A in the course. So chemistry is looking real good for me. This whole semester is looking good. I'm really happy and excited because um, never in my entire college career have I had a straight A semester. Um, that's not true. I have, but not when I was taking courses full time. So this will be my first full-time straight A semester. I'm so proud of myself and I just, I, I really look forward to continuing this trend throughout the rest of my education. And yeah, I'm excited. All right, so I'm sitting out here outside the church waiting cause I'm kind of tired and I don't want to be in there like sleepy <laughs> waiting for church to start. You know, it's cold, it makes you more sleepy but I am not wearing any makeup today because my face is like on attack mode. I don't know if it's hormonal changes or if it's that my makeup brushes need to be cleaned, but I have like six breakouts on my face. Yeah, I have one here, one here. I have one here. Oh, that hurts. And I have two here and then I have one where is it? One here. So that's two, that's four, six. Yeah, I was all right. Six breakouts throughout my whole face and neck. It's a little frustrating because I haven't had a breakout like this since I was like in my late teens, early 20s. So anyways, I'm gonna get a nice facial and then pop some of these zits and be done with it. All right, y'all, love you. Am I talking to somebody? Amen. Nobody, amen, walking and running up on the street has your assignment. I don't hear nobody say anything. Come on, you're going to rise up in this church and accept that because some of you, your heads are getting twisted by what you're seeing around you. But your assignment is, amen, not on the streets. God, by his Holy Spirit, has downloaded supernatural ability in your physical talents and your physical abilities. Come on, somebody in the house. So I got a ring light, one of the smaller ones. This is a remote for the phone. So I click it and it automatically takes the picture and the video. It's Bluetooth. Really excited to have that clicker. And I'm more excited that it's Bluetooth. Now I'm just reading like all the package instructions and talking to hubby because <laughs> I, I just, I'm so proud of my new toy. 
So you're gonna see me assemble this whole ring light and it's trial and error because it doesn't come with instructions. So you'll see me put things on and take them off. Um, but it was very exciting getting this and seeing what a difference it makes on the video. What you see here is pure black girl joy. <laughs> I am so excited to have this light. I'm excited to see how it upgrades the videos and excited to have a proper stand for my phone for these videos. Ooh, ooh. Okay, y'all. The question is not how many moms are following this video, but how many moms are family today is monday june 22nd the start of a brand new week and the start of week four for my first semester in school and i'm really excited i just finished filling out my to do i had some in the bag last week but i just added some things in pencil that needed um more attention for this week and it made me realize i'm so close to finishing this first half of my summer semester and i'm doing it with a's I just worked out like all the grades that I need in order to pass my human growth and development class with an A and it's going to be smooth sailing like I can actually have a few points off of each assignment and still pass with an A so I'm really happy about that. Same thing with my chemistry lab as long as I pass the final um, with a decent grade I'm going to get an A in that class and um, chemistry lecture I already know I'm gonna get an A because my first two tests were an A the third one is gonna get dropped um, and I haven't even taken it and I'm gonna get an A on that and then I have a quiz next week in the class and as long as I get an A on that quiz then my my A is solidified in my chemistry lecture 
So, <laughs> what I have lined up for this week. Today I'm reading chapter six and chapter seven in my chemistry lecture book. I am also doing the pre-lab for chemistry lab. Uh, it's on properties of solutions. And I'm going to read the first section of chapter six in my human growth and development book. Tomorrow I'll be reading chapter nine in my chemistry lecture. I'll be doing the lab report for properties of solutions, and I'll be reading the second section of chapter six in human growth and development. Wednesday, what will I be doing? The pre-lab for chemistry lab, acids and bases, and reading the third section of chapter six for human growth and development. Uh, Thursday, I'll be doing the lab report on acids and bases and reading the first section of chapter seven in human growth and development. Friday, I have set to do my, read the second section of chapter seven, human growth and development, and uh, do the discussion number four on adolescence. And then on Saturday, I'm gonna read the third section of chapter seven and take the quiz number four, which is on adolescence and early adulthood. Once I do that, all of those things, week four will be done and I will have fulfilled everything on my checklist and I'll have another super accomplished week. I am so proud of myself. This, by the way, if you are not creating a to-do list in addition to having all of your due dates in your planner, you're not doing it right. <laughs> this makes life so easy. And trust, I still use my planner. My planner's in my bag. Hold up. I still use my planner. So all of my due dates are in here, right? I still track things. I still check them off as I do them um, in my planner but I don't have to always have my planner on me because I have my to-do list and my to-do list breaks down everything that I put in my planner. Like my planner is just abstract, it's just due dates, but it doesn't tell me, oh, you need, in order to be ready for your quiz number three, you need to read chapter six, seven, and nine. You know, that's what my to-do list does. So you need a combination of both to do well, and I'm telling you, that has really contributed to my success. Let me mark off some of these days. Yesterday was Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, and if you are grieving the loss of your father, I pray that you would have peace and blessings and that in this time that you would find peace in your heavenly father. I love the Lord. He is my daddy. Um, in the Bible, it says that he will be a father to the fatherless and a husband to the widows. And that has been very true in my life. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is the week that I have set up for myself in the planner. It has not just school stuff, but personal stuff. So I'll be actually cleaning the church on Saturday, Friday. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Ooh, I'm so excited. And I'm even more excited that I'm gonna have a week break in between ending the first half of summer and starting the second half because it was pretty ambitious of me to think that I could do chemistry AMP1 well chemistry with the lab AMP1 and human growth and development all in the same semester I'm really glad I had the sense enough to put chemistry with the lab in the first half and AMP1 in the second half my school actually recommends that you take chemistry first before taking AMP1, which is why I split it that way. I mean, if they're recommending it, they know why. That means things that I learned in chemistry will apply in AMP. So I'm excited. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, comment. I love interacting with you all in the comments. Um, join this family. We have fun around here. It's open. Listen, I'm here for you. God bless you. Bye. Fam, thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Love you.